Are you going to be sick again? I don't think so. No, I'll just keep that bowl handy just in case. I suppose you are used to people chalking off men. Yeah, I've seen a fair bit in this place. You still got that headache? A bit. Well, I'll get you a painkiller. Is there anyone you want me to call? No, thanks. What about your mum? Have you got her number? No, I don't want to bother her. I'm sure she wouldn't see it like I that. I live on my own, OK? I can look after myself. OK. Well, if you need me, there's the buzzer. Honey, can I take it? This is Ellie. <laughs> All clean. Sorry. Nah, I never liked that shit anyway. <laughs> ah, at last, a smile. I don't really feel like smiling. So why'd you come to see us today? Been puking non-stop the past couple of weeks. When you say non-stop? At least four or five times a day. You still feel nauseous afterwards? Yeah. Then I woke up this morning with a terrible headache that I just can't get rid of. Where's the pain? Across here. All right. Okay, let's get all the embarrassing questions out of the way. Is there any chance you might be pregnant? As if. I'm sorry, but I gotta ask you this stuff. <laughs> well, I haven't even got a boyfriend. How about drugs? No, thank you. <laughs> Dabbled in anything? No. Anything at all? Never. Good, good. What's the matter with me? I'm gonna run some tests and find out. In the meantime, we're gonna get you something for the head and the nausea. Okay. I'll keep the lovely chin up, okay? Where do you work? Do you know the Basildon Court Hotel? Vaguely. I'm on reception. You got a place nearby? Got a little flat. Sixteen at a place of your own, eh? Yep. So when did you leave home? As soon as I left school. I'd never be that brave. It's no big deal. What did your mum say? Not much. Really? She didn't mind? No. Did you fall out over it? No. Why? It's just that you didn't want her to know where you were today. Well, that's up to me, isn't it? Yeah, of course. So what with all the questions? No, sorry, nothing. Ellie, have you had an x-ray before? Hey, is it cold down an x-ray? A bit. It's me mum's. One of the running nose Coming and goes. OK. Well, I got your test results. Catch. Nice. You're lefty? No, righty. <laughs> what did my results say? Well, the good news is they didn't show up anything sinister. But... Other than a slightly elevated white cell count, we're no closer to finding out why you can't stop puking. Skyball. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's my fault. I feel like a girl. Yeah. Just want to run a few tests to see if that gives us any clues. So push against my hand with your left foot. OK, now with your right. What was that? I mean, just a reaction to the effort you were putting in. It was weird. OK, let's go for a head CT. Is that because of what my arm's just done? No, it's because I'm one of those doctors who likes to cover every eventuality. I don't want to be sick again. Sister. Why do people usually have these scans? It's just a routine procedure. A brain tumour. Anything from a simple chest infection. To a brain tumour. Now, you're worrying yourself for nothing. Headaches, vomiting. Now, is there anyone you want me to call? Someone who will come and give you a bit of support? Please, don't. Well, you shouldn't have to go through this on your own. Fine. I must. OK, just in case. Thanks. OK, Ellie? Yeah. All right, we're going to start soon. Any sign of Dr Kerwin? Well, you'll see him when you're back on the ward. And you've got your results. He said he'd be here. So... I know, but he probably got held up with another patient. Right. Have I missed anything? Miley. Hi. Wow, this is a first. Sorry? A doctor who keeps his promises. And I would have been here sooner, but I was helping another nurse out. We're going to start now. I don't want to know what you were doing with other nurses. Do you know a redhead called Maria? What? No, it doesn't matter. All set? What are you looking for? In life? In the scan. Mm -hmm. I'm concerned about inflammation in the brain. And back on the ward when her arm spasmed, focal motor seizure. Then she missed that tennis ball by a good few inches. Right. Now well, hopefully I'm worrying unnecessarily. How you doing, Ellie? Ellie? Let me out, please. I want my mom. OK, we'll get you out. Sorry for freaking out. It's not a problem. I think it's time I called your mum. Don't do that. You were just asking for her. Please. Ellie, do you still live at home? Yeah, I do. 
So why the big story? Because if my mum knew I was sick, she'd come rushing down here. <laughs> That's what mums do. Yeah, but she just got this new job at the florist and the boss is horrible. It's like some mum for being half an hour late last week. Yeah, but your mum would want to know you were here. Yeah, and I know he'd give her the sack. Even though you're in hospital. Then I'll have to quit school and find a job myself. I thought you were working. <sighs> I made all that up. I'm doing my A-levels. Oh, why did you lie? Because my mum's obsessed about my education. It drives me mad. If I had to quit school, she'd be heartbroken. She works so hard. Right, well, I'm not going to call her. The most important thing is we find out what's wrong with you. So, come on. You ready for the scan or what? And you won't ring my mum? Unless you say so. Okay. Oh, I'm afraid you can't take that in there. Well, don't worry, I'll take good care of it. It won't suit you. You take her in there. See you in a sec. How's my brain looking? Brainy. Where's my cardigan? Charity shop. Hmm. What? Nothing. It didn't sound like nothing. You'll have to take my word for it then, won't you? Does your mum shop sell exotic flowers? I think so, why? Her cardigan was full of different pollens. At least one of which you're allergic to. I haven't got any allergies. They can kick off without warning. So that's what's been making me sick? Yep. Yeah. And it's caused a sinus infection just there. On my brain? Your frontal lobe, to be precise. No, you're not to worry. They just need to drain the pus. Gross. It's a civil procedure. So I'll be OK? You'll be fine. And I'll keep a close eye on you. Right. Now, do I have permission to call your mum? Oh, God, is she going to have to give away? No. Just have a shower and change her clothes when she comes home. Can I call her? Of course. Sorry. Tell her not to bring any flowers. 